Yeah, but you're for now. How old are you? Uh, I'll be 59 in a couple God of bless. Years. Ready? All right, Bar Naturals, Prez, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? You're here with the Prez, out here with Good Money. And I'm sure you guys know Central Park Joe. It's our first man? time linking up as well. So today we're going to be putting you through the best science-based chest workout. Now we say science-based because we're going to be working through the three main muscle contractions that are built through it. Basically, that science will teach you, the textbook will te textbook, that the textbooks will teach you, and it's going to apply to any type of muscle you work you're doing whether you're doing chest legs no matter what there's only three type of contractions we have an eccentric motion which is the lowering phase we have a concentric motion which is the concentric phase, which is coming up so if you're doing a bench press coming down is each eccentric coming up is concentric and then we have an isometric phase which is static holding a dead hang position on a pull-up bar holding chin to the bar on a pull-up bar those are called isometrics holding a push-up position down at 90 degrees those are all considered isometrics no joint movement so I'm going to be putting you through a science-based chest workout where we're focusing on each contraction separately in its own type of routine. So we're going to start this workout off with what I, which, what I call priming. Priming is really going to help people connect to the working muscle. A lot of people have problems connecting to their chest when they're actually working their chest. They don't really feel their chest working. So this first exercise is specifically going to be designed to isolate the chest muscles. We're not trying to fatigue them. We're just trying to pump some blood into the chest so you start to activate the muscles that you want to work throughout the routine. It's going to be very low intensity, and we're also going to be working an antagonist muscle group, which is opposite. So we're going to be working right after we hit our chest exercise for a priming, we're going to prime our rear delt and our scapula. Because very important, especially when doing dips or any type of pushing movements, you want to make sure your shoulders are tight and engaged. You don't want to let your shoulders round forward. Everything tight, scapula engaged, everything strong. So a good way to get everything connected is low intensity, warm up set with high volume. So we're gonna just do one set each, me and Joe, and I recommend everybody get a resistance band. They're gonna help you a lot with your body weight training. For warm ups, and then just to add intensity, if you wanna use for added weight, you can wrap it around your back, your back if you're doing push ups. You could use it to help you do a muscle ups if you can't do muscle ups yet. So everyone should have resistance bands in their tool set. So we're gonna start out 12 reps each arm. So we have the band strapped around the bar right now. And again, this is gonna isolate the pecs independently. Remember, you get the most contraction from the chest when you bring the humerus across the body. Bring the humerus across the body is full contraction of the chest. So we're gonna start, everything straight, torso facing forward. We're just gonna bring the humerus across. One, two, three, four. Don't lose the tension on the way back. That's a good thing about the bands. You gotta control the negative back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, come on this side, G. And we're gonna go to the right arm. Remember, we're working independently. This is also gonna work on imbalances. If you got a weaker arm, work your weaker side first. Same thing, head up, chest up. You don't wanna let that shoulder roll forward. Control it, bring the humerus across the body. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then straight from there, we're gonna go into a face pull. This is gonna work the rear delts, warm up the scapula, and everything. And we're gonna go full range of motion. So watch, we're gonna let the band pull us forward into protraction. Everything tight, hollow body. Core is sucked in, stomach is sucked in. First, we're gonna initiate the movement. Head up, chest up. We're gonna roll our shoulders back, pull back from the scapula, and then pull from the rear delt. Pull to your forehead. One, come forward. Don't let your shoulders roll forward. Pull back from the delts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Remember, shoulder health, very important, one of the most common injuries. Make sure you have good shoulder mobility. Rear delts, one of the most underworked exercises. So, let's get it, Joe. Great. Be no problem, easy exercise. For beginners, advanced, anybody can do this. Perfect. 
There we go, look at that. So this helps establish the mind-muscle connection. Exactly. Which will serve us well as we get into some more complicated So a lot of people exercise. will go into dips and they'll feel it more in their shoulders, or if they're doing push-ups, they'll feel it in their shoulders, or bench press. This is gonna pump blood into the muscles. We're not trying to exhaust them, we're just trying to activate them. Again, just like Joe said, it's gonna help you with that mind-muscle connection, which is very important when you're trying to build muscle. Help him out. Um, oh, there we go. Put a king on that side. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Oh, right, right. Okay, yeah. That was a good idea, though, too. Yeah. Right. Uh, a little higher on. A little higher on. Yeah. Right there. Perfect. Bring it straight across. We had a good. There we go. Two. Perfect form. Right there. Pretend you're hugging a tree. Exactly. <laughs> That's what flies are. You're almost doing a bear hug. Uh -huh. And you want to, if you were doing this with a double resistance band, say so you had the one with the handles. In your head, you want to imagine you're bringing your elbows together, bringing both humerus together. That's how you're going to get full contraction of the chest muscle. And again, doing unilateral like this, you're going to get anti-rotational. You're going to have to work well. your core, stabilize everything, keep your body straight. Right. Now and then right pulls. into a face pull. And remember, he's going to protract first. Let the band pull him, and he's going to start pulling the shoulder. There we go. Exactly. No, keep, don't go protracted each one. Just stay pro pull back, retract, pull from the delts. Good, now don't let the delt, now keep the delts back. Good, pull just from the shoulder blades. Two, just from the rear delts, pull from here. Three. Four. Five. So Joe, I want you to protract all the way again. Relax, just go, relax, 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 relax. Just head up, chest up. Head up, chest up. Just bring your head up a little more, chest up a little more. Bring your shoulders, now just pull back from here. There, that's what I wanna see. Before you were way too hollow body here, keep going. Give me five more just like that. You see the difference now, guys? There you go, you saw that indent before that Joe had? Here we go. Don't let that pull, don't let that pull. Don't let that pull. So what I'm seeing Joe should do more work over here on his mid back, maybe his rhomboids. Good, Joe. Set. So that's just gonna again put place the shoulders back because remember you don't want to especially with everyday life We're always texting always in that forward rounded position So it's always good to prime your shoulders get them in that external rotation set them back It's good for your posture and good for overall shoulder mobility. So now we're getting on to the routine All right, so exercise one is gonna be dips. I'm gonna do them weighted. We'll switch on and off. Because again, if your level is that you need to do weighted dips to make this rep range effective, then you should have a weight, then you should already have weight that you do your dips with, right? If you're a beginner and you're just doing body weight dips, we're gonna show you the routine, how you can do it without weight. And if you can't do dips at all, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can do the exact routine the same way with if you're just trying to learn dips and get stronger in that motion. So remember, this is science-based chest exercise. To this first exercise is gonna really focus on the eccentric muscle work. Remember, eccentric means lowering, the going down part of the exercise. So in the dip, it would be the lowering portion of the dip, that would be eccentric. The bottom would be, if you're gonna hold there, it would be an isometric hold, and then pushing up is concentric, right? But here the focus is gonna be on the eccentric portion of the rep. Whether you're doing it weighted or body weight or you can't do dips at all, you can all do this routine. So the routine is two second down, one second hold on the bottom, one second up. Two second negative, purpose of the stressing the two second negative. Again, working that negative is gonna help you feel the muscle stretch, it's gonna work on that mind-muscle connection. It's gonna build time under tension and the eccentric portion of the rep is actually where you cause the most damage where you can actually build the most muscle doing the eccentric portion of the rep so two second negative one second hold on the bottom one second up we're gonna be working the hypertrophy rep range aiming for three sets of six to twelve reps so again if your level is that you need to do this with weight you should already have weight when you're doing your weighted dips if you're doing body weight you're gonna really control that negative down and you can and if you don't have weight you can make that negative three seconds so Joe will be doing his body weight sets three second negative one second pause one second up. When I have the weight on, I'm gonna do two second negative, one second pause, one second up. That's how you can tailor it to your level. So if you don't have a weight, uh, east, uh, gradually 
make that eccentric rep longer and longer, whatever level you're at. So we to start the routine. And then I'll go and Joe go, that'll be the break period because we want to rest here about 60 to 90 seconds max. And you figure hitting six to 12 reps of three seconds should be on this bar for a good 30, 45 seconds. So always start, lock that position. Everything tight. Remember, two seconds down. Zero, one, two, hold. Up. Zero, one, two, hold. Up. Zero, one, two, hold. Three. Zero, one, two, hold. Four. Zero, one, two, hold. Five. Zero, one, two, hold. Six, zero, one, two, hold. Seven, zero, one, two, hold. Eight. And we're gonna stop at eight because I could have went for 10 reps, but I recommend you keep two in the tank. You don't want to max out, especially on your first set, because you want to be able to hit a consistent number for all three sets. So if you could only hit six on set one, stop at six and go for six on set two and set three. If you have to increase the rest period, I caught eight reps. I'm pretty sure 90 second break, I'll be able to get eight again for another two sets. So now Joe's gonna demonstrate his next set is gonna be body weight. Three second negative. Okay, you're gonna count? I'll count. All right. Press. Let's go. Press. Yeah. Zero. One, two, three, up. One. Zero. One, two, three, up. Two. Zero. One, two, three. Up, three, zero, one, two, three, up, four, zero, one, two, three, up, five, zero, one, two, three, up, six. And you can see as he goes down, zero, you can see the chest stretching, three, up, eight, or seven. I think we're on eight. Yeah. One, two, three, up, nine. That's good. Eight, there we go. So as you can see, that eccentric yeah. really stretches the stretching of the chest. And that time that under tension as well. Builds time Ooh. under tension. And again, now next set, I'm gonna give Joe the weight. So I'll go three <laughs> second negative if he want. You want the weight? I don't know if I'm All right, so Joe's gonna stay doing body, yeah. but I'm gonna stay yeah. doing it weighted. So again, three sets to eight reps. Now, uh, I, will do the, I will do four sets and demonstrate if you cannot do dips. Because all you're gonna focus on then is working on the negative reps. We're gonna do, do that for reps. So. Let me hit my set two Got right no now. Got no 25s in the, in, in, in the joint? What up? 25 pounds in the joint or no? Nah, it's all I brought. Oh, 50. okay. <laughs> all right, guys. I told you. So you want to rest about 60 to 90 seconds. But if you need to, rest longer. If you don't think you're ready yet, give yourself enough time where you know you're going to get that. Whatever number you hit the first set, aim for that for all three sets. That's how you're going to get stronger. And remember, hypertrophy rep range, 6 to 12 reps. And the reason why they call it the hypertrophy rep range is because they call hypertrophy or muscle growth. They say it's optimal when the set lasts between 30 to maybe 50, 55 seconds, maybe up to a minute. So you think about it, if you're doing 12 reps a set, three seconds uh, reps, that's 45 seconds. That's where they come up with the hypertrophy phase term. So let's go. If you guys don't want to count reps, a good thing to do, stay on that bar for 45 seconds and just keep moving up and down that motion. Don't even count the reps. Count time if you want. But again, eight reps. Let's go. Full lockout. Let's go. Zero. One, two, one, zero, one, two, two, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, four, zero, one, two, five, zero, one, two, six, zero. One, two, seven, zero, one, two, eight. Go, three second negative, Joe, set two. Zero, one, two, three, up, one. Zero, one, two, three, up, two. Zero, one, two, three, up. Three, zero, one, two, three, up, four, perfect form, zero, one, two, 
three, up, five, let's go, zero, one, two, three, up, six, perfect, let's go, one, two, three, up, seven, zero, one, two, three, up, eight, good set, zero, one, he's going for nine, two, three, nine, let's go, good shit, Joe, yeah, so you see, he's on, the, the sets are taking a good amount of time, Body weight, that's how you make it harder. Work on making that, if three seconds is easy for you, do four seconds, do five seconds. And remember, work to your level. This can be done by anybody. If you're a beginner, after I'm gonna do my third set right now, and then as soon as I'm done with my set three, I'm gonna go right into a drop set, but I'm gonna do a drop set, which would be a beginner variation of the routine. Where we're not focusing on anything but the eccentric portion of the rep. So. You guys already know, aminos in the drink, some car powder. What you got? Oh, same thing. The yeah, massive supplements, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you got in there, aminos? Yeah. And carbs? Uh, no, just aminos, yeah. I put the carbs in, but I know I'm gonna be breaking down a lot of glycogen. And right now my goal is to actually try to put some size on. I was on the cup for a little bit. So I'm trying to just maintain as much glycogen in the body as possible, so I'm not breaking down from my muscle. All right, guys, set three. Right. Last set, best set. Last set, best set. Remember, right after this, I'm gonna demonstrate the absolute beginner variation of this routine. Zero, one, two, three, up, eight. Zero, one, two, two. Zero, one, two, three. Zero, one, two, Four, zero, one, two, five, zero, one, two, six, three, zero, one, two, seven, zero, one, two, eight. You see, eight was a good number. If I would have went for ten on set one, there's no way I would have caught ten on set two. But look, the importance of tracking your workouts, I always talk about is. That's how you can track your project progress, gauge your progress. So today, on this exercise, I was able to hit three sets of eight reps. So that means next time I want to get at least one set of nine reps, at least one set. Nine, eight, eight would be progress. Nine, nine, nine would be even better. Working up so I could get three sets of 10. Before I even think about adding more weight, I would try to master this 50 pounds until I could get three sets of 10. So now, just let me give Joe another extra 30 seconds. So if you're a beginner and can't do dips yet, remember, the purpose of this first exercise was the eccentric portion of the movement. Listen, my chest is lit right now. So all I'm gonna teach you guys is if you guys cannot do dips yet, what are you gonna do? Come closer, G. Feet together, hands on the dip bar just like this. All I want you guys to practice, locking out, and then from here, control it down as fast as you can, drop to the floor, one rep. Press back up, control it down as best as you can, right back down. Don't even try to push up. Just full lockout, control it down. Don't worry about your tempo. If you're building up strength to build, to work on dips, just work on getting stronger and controlling it down. As you go on, you're gonna notice, today if you do, let's say you do three sets of this, you may be going down if you're a beginner this fast, right? One rep, two reps, three reps, whatever. I guarantee you, the next time you do this exercise, you're gonna get on that bar and you're gonna go down and you're gonna control like that. And you're gonna feel how much stronger you get. Benefit of negatives, you're gonna build a ton of strength. And if you're a beginner, it's gonna teach you the range of motion and the actual movement that you wanna do. And you also build right. a lot of size. Too. And again, negatives. exactly, eccentric negatives build the most size, they say, because exactly. they cause the most damage. Let's get it. Exactly. Zero, one, two, three, up. Beautiful, Joe. Zero, one, two, three, two. Zero, one, two, three, three. Zero, one, two, three. Four, zero, one, two, three, five, zero, one, two, three, six, zero, one, two, three, seven, two more, Joe, come on, zero, one, two, three, eight, zero, one, two, three, nine. One Full more. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. One more. Let's do another best one. Best set, best set. Let's get it. One, two, three. 10 reps. Yeah. Perfect. 
Good shit. And look, remember, we're calling this science based because we're working. The three, each routine is going to focus on an, uh, muscle contraction. So this one focuses on the eccentric portion. Next, we're going to be really focusing on full lockout, full contraction each rep. And this is going to be a little higher volume. This is also going to benefit you if you're trying to work on endurance, increasing your pushing strength in general, whether that be from dips or push ups. Both are going to translate to the, each other. And this is again, now the breaks are going to be strict. I'm going to go, Joe's going to go. We're going to be accountable for each other. So if he has to, however long he goes is however long my break is. However long my set is, is however long his break is. So we're gonna work, we're not gonna try to kill each other, but we're gonna try to hit, hit each set unbroken. And this is gonna be a little higher volume, like I said. We're gonna be hitting 110 reps as fast as possible. So it's gonna be a superset, a straight bar dip, superset it with a push up on the floor. So we're gonna go 10 straight bar dips, right down into 10 push ups. I'll go, then Joe will go 10, 10, then I'll get right on the bar, nine, nine. So we're doing straight bar dips, do not have to do a muscle up for this. You do not have to have to. You do not have to even know how to do a muscle up. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it on this low bar. Joe's going to do it on the dip on the dip bars. So you don't even need to have a bar like this to do this exercise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be jumping up. And if you don't have a bar that height, and if you can't get up on top of a bar, you always got a dip bar. And remember, we just worked parallel bar dips. So now we're going to be working straight bar dips. Two different type of pressing movements both gonna target the chest a little different. So now, straight bar dips on the dip bar, what are you gonna do? Get up, always make sure your toes are pointed, down, up, up. So, and then we'll go straight to the floor. So 10, right into 10 push-ups. So 10 down to one is 55 reps. 55 reps of both exercise, 110 reps, as fast as possible, unbroken each set. Let's get it, Joe. And again, if you guys are trying to learn a muscle, if you've got a bar like this, look, come all the way down, Jump up. Now you're in a muscle up. All right, now. And straight bar dips are key if you got to try to build the muscle up and build muscle up strength. So 10 dips, let's go. Full range of motion. Down, up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Push ups are key, guys. You want to make sure you come fully protracted each rep. So. All the way down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and outstanding. You want that full protraction going through full range of motion. Remember, now we're really focusing on the concept portion, the concept portion of each rep. Beautiful. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Just go right over here. You want to round that scap. There you go. Two. Perfect, Joe. Three. Four. Putting the shoulder through its full range of motion through the socket. Working the scapula how it's supposed to work. Strengthening the posterior chain and the anterior chain, anterior chain at the same time. Yeah. Prez, yeah, next time you do your push-ups, right there the same way where he did his, next time when you gotta cool. go. And I'll do my dips on this one too. Oh. So I'll go back and forth. Oh, okay. Nine down now, now we're on nines. Okay. Right. Full lockout. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Woo. You're already feeling it in your chest, I'm telling you guys. Net press, press. That Three angle. This one? Yeah, it's the angle he had. Right. That angle. routines on the channel this is more focused on bodybuilding style hitting the muscle at different angles it's not so high intensity where you're really elevating the heart rate and doing the cardio aspect that's great also if that's your goal me personally I try to keep as much cardio as my sets right now my goal is not to lose any size just to put size on 
Let's go. Three, perfect. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful. And this is how you make these one to 10 rep range numbers hard. That full lockout, trust me, going 10 to 10 is not easy. Yeah. Putting your body to the full range of motion, strict, is gonna demand more from the muscles than the pumping reps. Pumping has a time and a place too. Let's go, eight down, let's get it. Full lockout, chest to the bar, one, two, two, three, three. four, And in my head, I always tell myself, 10 to eight, 10 to seven, hardest set. Six down, it's easy. Right? Let's get through 10 to seven. Slightly wider, half an inch wider. Okay. There you go. Down here. Yup. Perfect. Beautiful. Four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Explain to them why it's uh, different, better to go wider when he's well, doing that move. Now you're going to be working a little more tricep, right. and you want to almost mimic the position that you'll be in a muscle up. You're not really going to do a muscle ups wide grip. You're always supposed to be slightly outside shoulder range of motion, outside shoulder width. For like proper form. Let's go. Seven, eight. Let me go, Joe. Yeah. Let's go. Seven, back to the dip ball. Remember, guys, this is gonna help you build your endurance and pushing. The break periods, and now as the numbers get shorter, the break periods get shorter because okay. the break, the sets are getting done faster. Let's go, seven. locking out, it's going to teach you stabilization. Both lockout in the joint, controlling it, and then letting your body swing around. The floor, the floor. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, double work. Right? Yeah. More work should. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chris, you're growing right in front of us. Let's go. Yeah. Exactly. All right, here comes seven. A little further than, than shoulder. Little shoulder. Yeah, just outside shoulder width. Okay. Perfect. Beautiful. You can see the line of his contraction of his muscle coming in. You can see how his, he's leaning up. You can see his fibers, how they cross and he, how they stretch when he does this movement. The striations, they call them. Too, man. I feel them. Whole difference. So I'm going to tell you something. Let me explain something in my head after he's done with this set. Two. Three. I'll tell you after I'll be doing the routine. Four. Let's go. Five. Six, one more, let's go, lock it out. Seven, there we go. Let's go. That was the easy work, sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Relax your hold there. Yeah, nice. Relax your time under tension. Why the poles, the, 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 the toes pointed, um, Four, press? Five. So, point your toes. You always want to have your body in a line. Joe's a, to, Joe's a little taller than me, so I'm guessing if he points his toes, he's going to be hitting the floor. Yeah, right. You always want to make sure you can maintain energy dispersed with your body. So he has his toes pointed up, but they're together. You don't want to have one limb like this, one limb like this, or else the energy being dispersed. Everything in a line. As long as the body is together in sync, Energy will be, will be being dispersed throughout the whole body evenly. You don't want to have one limb like this or out like that, duck leg. Joe's just keeping his legs like that. He's keeping the tension in his legs so everything's still tight. I'm even squeezing my butt. I'm squeezing the glutes. Yeah, exactly. You have to, Russ. Yeah. Your legs are going to want to swing like this. So yeah. everything engaged. We're on fives. Let's go. And that's a power leak. You don't want to leak power. 
exactly what I'm saying. You want energy to be dispersed evenly. Like they say, you get better grip. You're, gripping something. you're stronger when you're gripping something with both hands than you would like this, right? Because now your body has no energy coming out of here. But now my every limb is firing, everything's firing up. Let's go fives. One. Two. total. Just tell yourself that. One, two, three, four, five. Easy work. Let's go. Yeah. Perfect. Two, three, four, five. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Four. Remember, you want to get this done as fast as you can. Keep that endurance aspect. This is where you work on the endurance and the cardio. This is where you get it, the little break periods. Keep the heart rate elevated. Let it come down just enough so you can go back to the next set. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go three, two, one, and then Joe's gonna go three, two, one. No breaks now. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Okay. And then Joe's gonna finish it. Okay, cool. One, two, three. One, two, three. Notice that Trez does not sacrifice form just for numbers or for speed. Nah, hell no. I'd rather do form and low numbers all day. One, two, last one, best one. Here we go. Ah, nice. let's go. Max reps, last set of pushes. I didn't say max would be a lot. <laughs> That's ah. right. it. Right. Let's get it, Joe. Go. Three, two, one. That's how you elevate the heart rate a little bit. Work on the endurance factor. Remember calisthenics, you gotta be well-rounded and everything. You gotta be strong and you gotta be efficient. Let's go. One, two, three, there we go. One, two, let's go, Joe. Let's get it. One, two, let's go. One, oh, no. and then let's go. max effort. Max effort, let's Here go. Here we go. Still locking out, still full range of motion. Let's go. One, two, let's go, Joe. Beat my five, let's go. Beat my five, four, let's go. Come on, get seven, let's go. Seven, Joe let's got go. a 50 clip. Let's, let's go. go, Joe. Let's go, keep going. 50 clip. Eight, get to 10, easy, let's go. Nine, let's go. 10, let's go, we got 12, easy. 11, let's go. 12, 13, let's go, Joe. 15, 15, 15, 15, 14. Get it up, 15. There we go. 16, come on, Joe. 17. Woo. 17. Press. What happened, man? Come I'm on. on the Give him on. Yeah, say, <laughs> you better come on. 
Yo, 12, <laughs> 3, 4, nice. 5, 6, six. Two more. Two more. That's it. Two more. Eleven. Okay. You just needed some wind right there. There you go. Remember talking? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You was talking. Took you. <laughs> okay. We're not done with the routine. Okay. I told you guys, we have three basic muscle contractions. No matter what exercise you're doing, no matter what muscle, whether you're doing squats, jump squats, bicep curls, tricep push downs, there's only eccentric concentric and isometric so first exercise the dips with that tempo really focusing on the eccentric stretching that chest out the second routine built on more endurance but at the same time really focusing on the full lockout the full concentric portion of each rep we didn't do partials we didn't keep any tension on the muscle everything was now listen when i say we didn't keep tension on the muscle let me rephrase that people think that by going through full range of motion that all the stress goes to the joints. That can be the case if you let your body do that. If you know how to keep constant tension on the muscle mm -hmm. in locked out position, you're keeping the muscle tense. There's a difference when you'll see bodybuilders or me, myself, I'll do them. People do partial reps when they'll only go off 85% of the weight because they say they want to keep constant tension on the muscle. That's good too, that is constant tension. But you could also keep constant tension through full range of motion and mm -hmm. through lockout. Mm -hmm. So that was the focus of this exercise. Full concentric reps, full lockout. And the third contraction that we didn't work on yet is isometric hold. Now they also say to get the best benefit out of a chest workout, you really wanna work on stretching the chest towards the end of the routine. That's why you'll see a lot of people doing cable flies because they stretch out the chest, right? So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna work an isometric hold, only focusing on going down slow, stretching the chest, and then holding in that stretch position for 30 seconds. We're not gonna be doing any concentric portion of the rep now controlling it down stretching the chest holding for 30 seconds and then we're gonna just collapse so ideally we're gonna do this on here because this is gonna allow us to get a deeper range of motion you could do this on the floor which I'll demonstrate too we're gonna do three sets of this so I'll do one set on here the next set on the floor and then I'll demonstrate if you guys have like how many reps it's one set one rep 30 second hold so we're gonna be going down and holding 30 second isometric hold remember isometric hold is not a rep isometric hold is just no joint movement, it's just keeping a static movement, time on, just keeping the muscle flexed in one position. So, like I said, we're gonna be doing push-ups. Ideally, you would, want have, you would want to have something where your chest can get slightly lower than hand position. If Joe, like if we have, we both have rings, this is a perfect exercise for the rings. Perfect exercise if you have push-up handles, or even two bricks, it's gonna allow your chest to get a slightly deeper range of motion, but that's good, we have the dip bars here, we can do it just like this. So, remember, isometric, stretch here so all we're gonna do no concentric portion of the rep so no pushing no locking out so we're gonna come down real slow we're gonna take five seconds to get to the bottom position zero one two three four five now our chest is nice and stretched we're gonna hold this 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nice. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and drop. Remember, we're not pushing up, we're not doing any concentric rep. Slowing down, controlling the negative down, stretching that chest. I'm telling you, my chest is fucking lit right now. <laughs> stretching that chest. When you get to that stretch position, you're holding isometrically 30 seconds. It's constant tension, it's constant stretching of the chest. Let's go. This is where that metabolic damage takes exactly. place. Exactly. Really building up those metabolites in the muscle cells. Let's go. Mechanical tension. Right. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, go. Hold. Butt down a little bit, Joe. Good. Hold. 28, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 20, 19, 18, 17, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. You can feel his chest is all stretched. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Perfect, Joe. Just come down. There we go. Woo! How'd that feel? Oh, awesome, man. Awesome. All right, guys. Number three sets.
Joe goes, I go. So if you're doing this alone, you don't have a partner. So obviously his set's taking about 35, 40 seconds with the yeah. five second negative, 30 second hold, getting on over the bar. So you're resting about 45 to 60 seconds. So it's almost two to one rest to work, rest to work ratio. Maybe even less than that. So again, okay. 30 seconds down. You want me over here for the floor? So the floor now? Oh, okay. You want me over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right where was yours before? All right, remember. Now remember, if you don't have a bar and you're doing this on the floor, no problem. Same thing. So you don't want to have your hands too narrow here. You want them slightly outside shoulder width. You want a nice stretch in the chest. Everything tight. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, 29, eight, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and just drop guys. No pressing up, just drop down. Remember, just woke, focusing on the stretch and the isometric hold here. Joe, this floor is hot. Here we go. Sure, That's you okay. want to do it? You want to go on the concrete? It might good. be better. I don't mind. It's going to get hot. 20, 30, se <laughs> 20, 30 seconds. <laughs> you know it. Let's go. All right. Five, four, three, two, hold. One, two, perfect form, Joe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. See that shape? Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. That's what you want. Joe did it. Did the lockout. Because he wanted to do the lockout. Yeah. Okay, so let me just show you guys something too. It's three guys, sets on this or two? What up? It's three, three sets. Oh, what's so look, I'm gonna teach you guys something. Got two water bottles, right? Say so you guys want to extend extend your range of motion and you got no dip bars and you want to do this at home, right? You don't got bricks, you don't got handstand bars. Get yourself two water bottles, set them up on the floor, and it's the same thing. Now, it's gonna be a little more stability too. Same thing, five second down, 30 second hold. This is gonna allow my chest to get a little lower. Do then if I have to do it on the floor. All right? Give him a count, Joe. Give him a count. So you can save some of his breath. <laughs> Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds. I'm like, yeah, it was a long 30. <laughs> I couldn't go on my watch, Joe. too. Joe's going to go 30. That was a tit joke? Yeah, it's the analog situation, but oh, it still okay. works. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? That's good, 30. I'm going to do them on my knuckles. There we go. Yeah, to make it hard. Knuckles. So, Joe said it's going to be easy right now. Let's give him that count, uh, Brad. Uh, okay, so a little wider, a little wider. There we go. Okay. Zero. One, two, three, four. Five. I'm gonna give Joe a little bonus. Three, two, push up, Joe. Push up, Joe. Push up, Joe. Clash, clash. Ah. There we go. Okay. That's how you build some tension. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Didn't hurt you, right? We call that post-activation potentiation. Right there. there. We go. Okay. That's exactly what he said. Woo! Most active. Explain that. Yeah. Let Joe explain yeah, that. Yeah, Joe. What that does is it primes your nervous system for even more work to come. So, almost like overcoming isometrics, yeah, you exactly. call it too. So say that. You want to build up on your deadlift strength. For instance, here, look, you guys say you guys have no deadlift bar, right? You guys can't deadlift. Ideally, you would want a push up bar. This might be a little far from your body, right? Actually, what you guys could do come here, set up in a deadlift position, head up, chest up, and then act like you're pulling this 
It's not gonna move. The bar is not moving, the bench isn't moving, but it's activating the nervous system and you're trying to overcome something that can't be overcome. So you're trying to work past the potential points. Okay. Joe got the scientific term for it. I give you a little more latent term. I like that one. You know what I'm saying? Overcome the, say it again? Overcoming isometrics. Yeah. That's what you'll hear other people terming it. But he had the real word. Real word. Okay. okay, so we're going to end the routine quick. Like I said, if you don't have a uh, band, you don't got to do this. We're just going to pump a little more blood now. One more set, we're going to go high reps. 12 to 15, pumping now. We're not. We're going to keep the tension the whole time. We're not going to let our arm come all the way out. So one, two, three. Short range of motion, going this side, same thing. So before we're getting that stretch, now we're just pumping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. And if you don't have a band, you guys can do a burnout push-up. So if you guys don't have a band, now you can do your pumping reps like push-ups like this. To burn out the routine. All right. Let's go. 15 reps. 15. 15. Right. Don't come all the way out. Just keep the pump. Two. There we go. Perfect, Joe. Four. Five. Look at that. Six. Seven. Complete isolation of the chest. No tricep movement involvement. No shoulder involvement. 13. 14. 15. Woo! Get that pump. Now I'm going to have to buy a bigger shirt. Yeah. Two, clean. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get it. Ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Light work. That's how. Look, that's. Science-based, yeah. calisthenics, mm -hmm. body weight only. You didn't need, you didn't need that extra 50-pound kettlebell I had. The band, everybody should have a band. I recommend everyone getting a sure. band. But this is body weight only. I showed you guys the tempo to do it, like Joe demonstrated without a weight. We're getting the best of both wor worlds, all three worlds. Working on that eccentric form, time under tension, really working on your form. Next, get into that full lockout, concentric reps, and then really working on time under tension with eccentric holds. Remember, eccentric holds also are gonna help you build up and bust through plateaus. So say you're stuck at like 50 push-ups. On your 50th push-up, hold that last rep as long as you can. Building that time under tension is gonna get your nervous system used to being on the bar longer, holding positions longer. It's gonna help you take yourself to the next level. I hope Joe enjoyed this oh, routine. this is awesome, yeah. And this is a little so something much. different. If you guys, yeah. listen, the other routines that I watched that on Good Morning Channel recently, that cardio base, if your guys' goal is you guys want to burn as much uh, fat during a uh, routine, definitely recommend trying those routines out. But myself, personally, like if that my man Igor, I've never, never met him, but if he was here, he told me to do that routine, I would say, nah, bro. You would have just took away fucking two weeks of progress for me, man. I would have burned everything I ate in two weeks doing something like that. So it's just different goals, right? It's a great workout, just different routines. So me personally, I'm trying to keep it a little more uh, time under tension, more focus on a muscle. So right now, if you guys are wondering the routine that I actually follow, I'm on a push, pull, leg routine. So usually on a push day, it would be full chest and shoulder work. And actually, before you guys got here, I was doing handstands on the bar. So that was my shoulder work. And uh, next day, I do a push work workout. I'll be more shoulder focused and a little less chest focused. So that's how you can tailor your routines, guys. And uh, me and Joe are definitely going to have to do another video. He sure, can take man. me through a workout sure. next time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, words, Joe, about the routine. Oh, Talk this to was awesome. Routine. In fact, I trained a lot of things I normally don't train, like the bar muscle up, I'm sorry, Perfect. bar dips, things like that that I'm going to definitely add into my routine. So, this is great. Thank Yo, you and so then, much, bro. Uh, your man, my Igor, we'll do a video too, man. We'll yeah, do, yeah. Uh, Shout out to Igor. Uh, Shout out to Igor. I'll try to set we'll something do, up. Uh, you could do one of mine. I'll put you through one of those. Yeah. Tell me what to do one of yours. I'll do it for the channel. We got sure. it. Good you know, luck. Just, just to get it done. All right. Thanks so much. It is good to train out of your comfort zone. Don't always do what you're used to doing because. They'll say you make the best results doing what you're not used to doing, right? So, sure. say I'm always, say always used to training in that one to five rep range, heavy, heavy, heavy. Then you switch over to more of a high volume, 15 to 20 rep range. Your body's gonna respond really well because it's a new adaptation, something it's not new, used to. 
Yeah. So it's not something you have to stick to all the time, but it's just something just to switch on and off to give your body a little switch up, you know, keep it fresh. All right, thanks a lot, Prez. Thanks a lot, Joe. Links to Prez's and Joe's Instagram, YouTube, and Instagram will be in the description box. Make sure y'all subscribe. Come on, make some flexing, man. Try the routine. Get the flexing down yet, Prez? Prez is off. Prez is Come on, man. Now he ain't start. You know. Try the routine. Tag me. Tag Joe. Tag Good Money. Yo, go to my page. Yo, check both my pages out. Links will be in George's description. Bar Naturals, what's your page yeah. name? Central Park Joe. Central Park Joe, you yeah. guys already know. So yeah. subscribe to all the pages, like, leave a comment. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace out. All right.